are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you when this video finally reaches you. You guys, today's video is one that I'm excited to share with you and honestly I think that it's a very telling story of why we can never be too cautious in life. You don't want to live totally on edge all the time but you definitely don't want to be too relaxed at all times if that makes sense. But today's video is also one of my biggest fears. I've told you guys so many times in the past that beyond ghosts and demons and all things paranormal, I fear the human race so much more most times <laughs> because there are some people out there who, whether we want to believe it or not, don't always have good intentions. I mean, we know that, but it sucks to be reminded. And today's video is just so creepy and so unsettling and it's something that I've thought about a lot ever since I was a kid. So without further ado, sit back, relax, maybe turn a light on and let's get into today's video. So as you guys can tell by the title, today's video is about why you should always check the back seat of your car and even in some instances the trunk of your car before getting into your vehicle. Now I think for me, I first heard about this as an urban legend back when I was a kid or kind of as a scary story that would be told at sleepovers. And the version that I was told was that there was this woman who was driving in her car and going about her business and when she pulled up to a gas station she I believe it was something along the lines of went inside and the gas station clerk was acting very scary or creepy towards her and some way or another she winds up looking into her rear view mirror or looking into her vehicle there's different versions of it and sees that there is a man in the back seat of her car who I guess had the intention of killing her and like I said there's many versions of this but it was a story that I heard a lot as a kid and it really freaked me out. I remember being young and whenever we would get into my family car, I would look back if there were seats behind me depending on which car we had at different points in my life. But it was always something that I thought about and the idea or concept of somebody being within your vehicle without your knowledge is terrifying. And I do know from firsthand experience that it is possible to have someone hiding in your vehicle without anyone knowing because at one point in my life, I actually snuck my babysitter's daughter into my car thinking that I could say, surprise, she's here, and my parents would let her sleep over because she was already there, and they had no idea for the entire ride that there was a child not buckled in in the back of the car on the floor, and we got all the way to my house, and it did not go over well, and they returned her back to her family, who was incredibly worried. But my point of saying that is that my parents went the entire drive without knowing that she was sprawled out in the back of our van on the floor, and they had no clue that she was in the car at all. So I remember as I got older, I started seeing signs in parking garages saying to check your vehicle before getting in and always make sure that you lock your vehicle, and it really made me wonder, is there more to this urban legend or this scary story? Are there instances of people who have in fact had somebody in the back of their car without them knowing? And the terrifying answer to this is yes. Now, people often tell people nowadays to check their back seat for two different reasons. One, they tell you to check the back seat to make sure that you're not leaving your child in the back seat, as there have been many tragic cases where that has occurred. And two, to make sure that nobody is within your back seat. But upon digging into people's experiences with this, I came across the experience of a young woman from a small town who actually had a killer in her back seat that she would later socialize with. And I don't know, you guys, after reading this story, I just felt so unsettled and I felt like we should talk about it today. So I actually found this story on Reddit and there's no real links or the real name of the individual who experienced this. So it is up for debate whether or not it is a true, true story, but it's very unsettling and creepy nonetheless, and I think the overall message surrounding it is very important. So basically, 
This woman was from a very, very small town where they seldom locked their doors. And actually, where I grew up, a lot of the time we wouldn't lock our doors during the day. We would at night, but us kids were always in and out of the house so often that a lot of times the front door or the back door was left unlocked. And in her small town, this was no exception. They always had their doors unlocked. They very seldom locked their car doors, they very seldom locked their house doors, and it was just one of those communities that everybody kind of trusts everybody, and you just don't think about what wound up happening to her. Now, basically, it started out one morning that she decided she was going to go on a little bit of a road trip to visit her dad a couple towns over. And she drove a little bit outside of her town when she started getting really tired and getting a migraine. So she decided to pull off to a motel and kind of crash there for the night so that she could continue her road trip the next morning and drive safely. So she parks her vehicle outside of the motel, goes to sleep, but she never locked her vehicle's doors because it was just such a poor habit of hers to not lock the vehicle. The next morning comes, she gets up bright and early, she gets into her car guys, she even recalls opening the trunk, putting her things into the trunk that she'd brought into the motel, closing the trunk, getting in the front seat, and beginning her couple of hour drive to go and visit her dad. When all of a sudden she feels behind her like as if someone's watching her and she feels as though she's sensing movement. So she looks into her rear view mirror and that is when she is met with a man in the back of her car. Now immediately she starts screaming, she's panicking, she doesn't know what to do, and supposedly as she tells it, the man tells her to calm down, calm down, he's just a hitchhiker, he noticed her car was unlocked, he decided to rest in her car for the night, he thought that most people sleep in when they go to motels, he didn't expect her to be in her car so soon and he is so, so, so sorry. He's just trying to get to a town over and he couldn't afford to sleep at the motel so he climbed into her car. Now initially, she feels very uncomfortable, very unsettled, terrified. I mean, could you imagine all of a sudden you just see this man in the back seat of your car? but she starts to feel empathetic towards him. And this kind of goes back to the fact that she's from a town with a very low crime rate. So she starts to actually feel bad for the guy and offers to continue driving him to where he needs to go as it was kind of along her way. So she keeps on driving this guy in her car in the back seat and they get to conversating and she tells him how she's going to see her dad, how he's really sick how this trip means a lot to her because it could be one of the last times she gets to see her dad and basically just has like a really deep conversation with this individual. So, it doesn't sound too terrifying, does it? Well, finally she gets to where this man claimed that he wanted to go and right before he exits the vehicle, he tells her that he had no intention of going to this town, that he had no intention of allowing her to survive, and that he had scoped out the fact that she was there, noticed she didn't lock her vehicle, and waited for her, but that he says it didn't seem fair to take away a man's daughter when he was about to die himself. So he spared her. And he encouraged her to not only lock her vehicle, but to not be so trusting and to maybe check her back seat before just getting into a car that had been unlocked. And supposedly the man just ran away. She called the police, she filed the police report, but there was no evidence of him. Somehow there was no trace of him in the back seat of the car. They couldn't get any solid fingerprints. He was wearing gloves, but she thought it was just because it was a cold day and that she never found out who that man was or whether or not he actually did intend to kill her or if he was just trying to scare her, but that it will always stick with her that no matter how safe your town is, no matter how much you think you can trust people and you don't think you need to lock your vehicle or check your back seat, you always should and that the warnings are for good reason. Now, like I said, you guys, this totally could have been an urban legend, but it's definitely something to think about. And one of my bigger fears, just not knowing someone's intentions towards you, someone breaking into your house or your vehicle or just anything of that nature really, really freaks me out. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today, urban legend or not. And I want to know, have you guys heard of this as well? 
because it freaked me out and it really has had me paranoid over the last couple of days while getting into my vehicle and I always lock my vehicle and I always lock my doors so I just wanted to share it with you guys and see what you guys think of this. With that being said, I think it's just important in general in life, no matter how good you think people are, just really, really err on the side of caution and try to make sure that in every single situation you're presented, that you take care of yourself. And even if it feels a little bit paranoid, just be safe. <laughs> and please always check the back seats of your car before getting in it because I, for one, will be doing that quite often now. With that being said, that is it for today's video. What scary stories did you hear as a kid that really stuck with you into your older years, your adult years, however old you are? What's something that has stuck with you from like when you would have sleepovers as a kid or hang out with people as a kid or read scary stories in books as a kid that to this day are always in the back of your mind? Because that is definitely one of them for me. And I'm curious to hear which ones have stuck with you guys. But with that being said, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this spooky story. Comment down below if you guys believe it to be true or not. I would love to hear what you guys think of it. And also, if you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Maybe go click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Join the Reese's Pieces. We would so love to have you here. And that is it for today's video. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness, and until next time, I love you guys so much.